Yeah. On the phone right now is a man who taught us some very valuable lessons over the years. Like that place you like to take your uh, wife on picnics? Yeah, where yeah. the green grass grows. Yeah, so you're never going to forget when you're at your mama's house, Lana, what she used to always say. Be humble and kind. And by the way, Kevin, are we still doing that road trip? Truck, yeah. Ooh, can I be the shotgun rider? Are we still leaving at eight? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Dang. you got to change your shirt. You can see that barbecue stain on your T-shirt. Yes, we are idiots. But ladies and gentlemen, on the phone, uh, he is a man of faith. He is a pilot. He is a cowboy. He is friends with Tom Hanks. He plays music from time to time. You're going to love this new artist. He's going to be here May 6th, ladies and gentlemen, Tim McGraw. Tim! <laughs> I like that shtick. Y'all had a bit going on there. I like that a lot. Yeah, Tim, this is all genuine stuff. There's no shticks going on around here. Right? This ain't no Hollywood production like you got going out there in 1883, right, you know? Right on, right on. I loved it. <laughs> hey, brother, we just wanted to give you something new, and uh, always appreciate you coming on with us. Excited to see you, man. It's been a minute since you guys have, uh, or you've been out on tour, and we get to see you Friday at the amphitheater. I can't wait to get there. You know, yeah, it's been six years since I've done a solo tour, so I'm, I'm pretty jacked about it. Yeah, we're excited. The last tour we did was Faith and I on mm-hmm. Soul to Soul, and and you know COVID hit, and and doing 1883. So I, it, we're excited to be back out playing music and being outside and playing under the stars and being on stage with the greatest band in the world, my guys, and the greatest crew in the world, the guys that work for me. So I, I we just can't wait. I, I I don't know that I've been this excited for a tour in a long time. Yeah, and is it kind of a different headspace for you? I mean, obviously you're getting into character, and especially with a, a, a period role with 1883, you know, trying to get back into, oh, wait, now I'm going to go back into entertainer mode of me playing to a live <laughs> crowd. But seriously, though, like from a musical standpoint, like, do you really have to kind of shift your brain on that? You know, I, I've done it for so long now. I think that I, that it comes back pretty naturally. Um, the big, biggest part's going to be remembering the words. <laughs> that'll, that'll be the hardest thing because, you know, I have, still have the script in my head, and now I'm working on a new album at the same time with a bunch of new songs. So there's nothing like being in front of an audience and, and getting that instant gratification, that energy from the audience. And I think all of your fans out there will help you with the words if you do forget one from time to time. Not <laughs> yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Well, I, I want to ask you a question about uh, one of the people that are opening up for your tour, Alexander Ray. This is the girl that you saw on TikTok that was singing your song, Don't Take the Girl. You see it. You do one of those side-by-side duets with because you're just like, you thought it was great. And now you're bringing her out on the road with you? Is that the case here? Yeah, I mean, I saw her, uh, Alexander Kay, and then Brandon Davis, and and I I saw those guys doing that, and I thought they were great, and I, and I thought that was a, su- such an innovative way to, especially during COVID, to get your music out there, and and I just like their energy and, and like their spirit, and I, I thought they would add a lot to the show. For me, it's always exciting to bring new artists out who who have not stepped on a big stage like like you know in front of twenty thousand people, and, and to see their excitement and to see them vibrate when they come off stage after feeling that energy. They it's are always- gonna freak out when they do this. This is I'm so excited for them. I, I am too. I'm very excited. That is such a cool thing for you to do. I I, lo- I just love that. Well, it was cool. It was a cool that they decided to go along with me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah you know, Tim, I'm sure that it really took some no. convincing. Yeah, but <laughs> no, I'm not going to go out with you, yeah, Tim. Sorry, I'm Garth Brooks <laughs> called me last week, pal. Can't make it. <laughs> well, I mean, if Garth would have called, I probably would have left out in the cold there. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way, no way. We're talking to Tim McGraw, and he's going to be here on Friday at the Amp. I got to say, when it comes to 1883. And I know you've been asked every question about it, but I just got to say it is brilliant. Uh, that's a hard thing to do, a prequel to an already giant show. You absolutely crushed it. This yeah. guy, as an actor, uh, doesn't get enough respect, not only because of his acting chops, but of his co-stars. Let's be honest. Sandra Bullock, amazing. And then he's smart enough to have his beautiful wife, Faith, uh, play his wife and now 1883. You're a genius, man. Way yeah. to go, buddy. No, thank you. I appreciate it. That was a lot of fun and, and it's so much fun to work with Faith. That's the first time we've ever acted together and, and man, I was so proud of her. I, she just absolutely killed it. She just killed her role. She's a tough, strong woman and she just pulled it off you know, just perfectly and, and uh, you know, she... the. The coolest thing is she became an expert at driving a wagon because she had to do some pretty hairy situations in that wagon, and she she did it without any fear or any trepidation at all. She just dove right in. Nice. Yeah. You guys have great chemistry on great. screen together too. I wonder yeah, why. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> hey, real quick before we let you go, Tim, we can't wait to see you. I'm I got this old truck I'm about to sell. Do you have any idea what kind of asking price you should put out there? Uh, you know, I'd say around 7,500 OBO. Yeah, yeah. This is guy's a professional. Give it up, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. We'll see you soon, man. Later, brother. Bye. Thanks, guys.